Yeah, see I'm waiting for all that snow to melt and then I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna show you guys how I uh, plant fish underneath the tomato where the tomatoes are going. Yeah, so because uh, we went out to my dad's uh, a couple days ago and got uh, a couple of fish out of the pond. So we're going to put them underneath the uh, where the tomatoes are going, but I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll bring you along with me, okay? So, but for now, I am just waiting for the snow to melt, and while I'm doing that, I am eating the massive bowl of oatmeal that I eat every single morning in the spring, winter, and fall. We're planting these bad boys today. Yes, a couple of fish I caught. Those are gonna go back there in the ground to help attract a massive amount of microbial activity. And then, in a couple of weeks, I will plant the tomatoes on top of them. Thank you, my friends. So here I am, clearing away the hay so that I can uh, lay the fish, I can plant the fish, essentially. But uh, I just wanted to show you, when you move the hay aside, uh, you may see I don't know if you can see it on the camera very well. You see that gray mold? That's uh, very good. That's what we want. So if you're using this kind of gardening thing, and you're like, whoa, but I got this mold under here, that's actually beneficial. That's sort of what we want, because that's uh, what's kickstarting the decomposition process. So nothing to fear. Man, the soil is so nice right now. Sorry for the wind, but it just is what it is till I get better equipment. Okay, so it's pretty simple. I'm just going to take the fish, cut it up into chunks, uh, and then drop it in the hole and sprinkle a little bit of the uh, coffee grounds and tea leaves on top of it to help. It's gonna help supercharge the worms. Yeah, they love that stuff. They're, the microbial life is going to really benefit from all of this, and that's the point. We're feeding the soil here. So, Hope you can see. Mm. Hmm. A little bit harder. You know, something about like that. Yeah, you know, you don't want to be shy. I mean, that's pretty big. You know, my hand's decent size, and so that's as big as the hand. But just the whole fish, you know, just drop it in there. Yeah, like this. Down into the hole. Then. Taking some of these coffee grounds and uh, tea leaves. Mm. I'm gonna grab a handful of uh, coffee grounds and tea leaves because just like you, the earthworms and microbial life love some caffeine to get them going. They will voraciously consume this thing with the uh, turbo charge of the coffee beans. So that's all you really gotta do. And then you just cover it back up and I'm gonna let it sit for about three weeks to a month until the tomatoes are ready to be planted. And then I'm gonna plant right directly on top of this. And what that's going to do is it's going to invite a huge community of microbes. Sorry about the wind. It's gonna invite a huge community of microbes and beneficial organisms and earthworms, all the good stuff. You'll see the results this summer. Last step is I just tuck it all back in with a nice eight inch layer of uh, hay and let it do its thing for the next month until the tomatoes are ready to be planted.